Today we're going to be installing a fast electric fuel heater kit, part number HK-1001. Uh, this is the fuel heater kit uh, offered from FAST. Uh, this comes with your wiring harness and everything that you're going to need to hook it up to the truck. What we wanted to do today is we wanted to use our, our FAST display uh, to show you the mounting spots on the different pumps for the actual heating element that will come in your kit. Uh, the heating element will actually come, the heating element in the kit will come with a bung to uh, install it into the pumps itself. But we're going to show you what on each different series uh, fast pump. It works on all three of the series fast pumps. You know, obviously now all we have is the titanium series, but this will work on the platinum series, the titanium series, and the old HD series. So first off, on the platinum series, the uh, on the platinum series, you only have one port that the the fuel heater element can be installed in and it's directly over the water separator here now these plugs on these on the titanium uh, some of the, the platinums the titaniums and some of the hds is going to be a 532nd allen head so to remove the plug you just simply remove the plug it is a tapered fit plug so it does have uh, it does have uh, thread tape on it to install the heating element, you're going to install first the bung, and then you'll simply screw the element in here. And when you do this, you make sure that you want to use thread tape for both fittings uh, and torque these down to the, the specifications that are in the installation guide from FAST. Now for the titanium series, the titanium series and the HD series actually have two ports that you can mount the fuel heater into. This port is your suggested port if you're only using one fuel heating element. This is the port directly above the water separator. Uh, if you wanted to run a secondary fuel heater, you could do that. You would have to have a second HK-1001 kit uh, and it would be right here above the fuel filter. So obviously again to install them on the titanium series your primary here is above your water separator you just remove your plug and you will install the element right into the titanium so you can see here that this is coming off of the uh, this is coming off of the uh, titanium series and the platinum series as well you have to have enough room for the heating element to be able to go in there to clear your fender well, fender well or wherever you have it mounted. So we're going to do an actual installation now. We're actually going to do the installation on an HD series that's going to be on a truck. We're going to show how, it, how to install it and how you, all of your wiring is going to go. One simple thing to remember on this heating element, the reason why this is installed above the water separator is obviously because it's the water separator. That's where the water is. Um, that is where the water is separated on these on these filters. Uh, that is what's going to freeze first. That is going to be the, the the filter side that is going to freeze and gel up the first on you. So that's why we put the heating element above it. If you if you're just running one element, you want to make sure that you're above your water separator. Now remember, uh, if you have a, an HPFP or the old HPFP pump or the or the adjustable pumps, uh, you, there is no place for the fast heater port. On these pumps, you would actually have to make a, uh, if you needed to use that, you would have to actually make make your own uh, element block for it um, with, for the adjustable pump. So now, let's go out to the truck and install it on an HD series pump. First thing we're, we're going to do before we begin our installation of our, our fuel heater kit is we're actually going to prep our wiring harness. We've got a little bit of prep work to do here. All right, in your wiring harness, you have your constant power that will go to the battery. Uh, then this, this, is this is a fused, uh, this is a fused source, 15 amp fuse in it. Uh, if you ever have a problem with the fuel heater, first thing you want to do is check this fuse. Then obviously a relay, this is going to be a key on uh, signaled system. So you will have a key on power source that you will be hooking to. And then obviously you have your connection uh, that will go right in the fuel heater. So first what we're going to do is our prep work. Uh, our key on power source is just a single red wire here. What we need to do is we're going to go ahead and strip it. 
and we're going to put our fuse tap end on here. Uh, our fuse tapped end is going to go right on there. It's already got its own crimp and everything. It's ready to go. Right. We want to go ahead and crimp that. Okay. So that our that's got our key on power source end done. Now we want to do our constant power end. That will be with the red and the green wire. We're going to go ahead and strip those back. And we're going to install the two ring terminals that came in the kit. All right, so that's got our constant power source done. So that has our wiring harness prepped. Now the only other thing that's gonna be in our kit is gonna be this brass bung. This brass bung is for the uh, much older HD series pumps. So if you have got an HD series pump that you've had for years and years and years, this is probably gonna be uh, the reducer bung that you're gonna need to put the element into the pump. So now we're going to go to the truck and we're going to pull the plug out of the truck and, and get ready for our installation. Now we're going to begin installation on our heater element on our HD series uh, fuel pump. Before we begin our installation, we want to put our thread tape on our adapters, on our on our on the bungs that we have. So this is a HD series, so it is actually going to use the, um, the brass fitting that came with the kit. So we're going to go ahead and put thread tape on it. Then we actually want to thread tape the heater element as well. So now that's got us taped up. Two wrenches that you want as you want a 9 16 wrench. You also want a 7 8 7 8 wrench for the for the fitting that I'm going to use if you're using the other platinums. Uh, it's a little for the the fitting for the platinum and the titaniums it's a little bit smaller. First thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to clamp off the tank line. Just pinch it off with a hose clamp plier if you can. And this is just going to save on some of the mess for you. So we've got a little bit of a bucket here to catch residual fuel. Uh, I said that it was a 5.30 seconds Allen, it's actually a 5.16 Allen. Uh, to get this plug out of the HD series, it's a 3.8 Allen head. We're going to go ahead and loosen that up and get it. We've got a bucket here to catch the residual fuel that will drain out. All right, with the hose pinched off eventually it's going to quit. All right, now you want to install your brass bung there. Okay. And we're going to tighten it down with a 7 8 wrench. About 40 foot-pounds torque. Then you want to install 
your heater. And when you're tightening the heater down, the heater element down, it is a very, very soft aluminum and it will break. This is a tapered thread. You're only gonna you be getting this to about 12 foot pounds. So just tighten this down to get it good and snug to stop the leak because you will twist this off and this is an expensive element. We do sell the elements by themselves on the website. Uh, you don't want to have to buy a second one because you break one off. So just get it good and snug. There you go. So that is installing the element into the pump itself. You can see our wiring harness right here. We're going to go ahead and, and, attack, and hook our wiring harness up. I'm going to hook my wiring harness up here first. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start it up here and bring it back. Running it along with my original fast harness. Attach it, hook it right straight to the heater element. Okay, now we'll just uncrimp our tank line and then we'll zip tie this up. And then we'll go up top and finish up our electrical connections. Wiring up our heating element, first thing that we're going to do is we're going to connect our constant power source, uh, so a half inch uh, to loosen up the nuts on the battery terminals. We're going to connect the ground, the green wire to the ground. And we are going to connect the red wire, obviously, to the positive side. And this will leave us with one connection after we've made our constant power connection. Uh, our, the only connection that we will have left is going to be for our keyed power source, our key on power source. So we're going to run this inside of the cab and we're going to pick this, uh, we're going to pick this key on power source up inside of the cab. So we're going to tighten up our battery connections. We're going to clean up our wiring harness. We're going to zip tie. Uh, our wiring harness going down the, down the frame rail and then we'll move inside the cab and we'll pick this connection up. Our last step is to find a key on power source. We've already routed uh, our fuse tap into our internal fuse panel. And please, uh, uh, please excuse this mess of wires in here. This, is, uh, this truck has several other things hooked into it. All right, so we're checking for a key on power fuse. That's the one we're looking for. There's a 10 amp on the top row there. We're gonna pull. We're gonna put it into our fuse tap. So we've got it and our three amp both inside of there. Then we're just simply gonna reinsert the fuse holder. Now we'll check it for power. Okay, that means we got power to our heater. Uh, so that completes our installation. The heating element for the fast fuel system, the way that it works, that it will automatically go off after a certain time. It has a, it has an internal, um, it has a, a uh, internal, internal temperature. Uh, probe on it and it will actually turn itself off so it is not always on when the key is on 
but once the key is on up to a certain temperature, the fuel heater element will be on on the fast. So if you want to come out in the mornings, turn the element on, uh, let it heat the bowl up for a few seconds, just depending on the weather conditions. Uh, then start your truck and let your truck warm up uh, and it'll still be running and making sure that all of the, uh, if you have any water in your water separator to make sure that it's thawed. So you're not going to have a gelling up situation uh, leave you stranded on the side of the road. So if you have a question on our fast uh, fuel heater element installation or any of our other installations, just give us a call. Thank you.